three, two, one, play. Let's go. What? Glass. What? Glass. What do you mean? Hey, don't. Uh, I, I had the, the Jeff Yolog just started speaking. I don't know why. I think someone recorded their own voiceover. <laughs> oh, is that a reaction? <laughs> That's a 10 hour reaction. <laughs> 10 hour reaction. We're right, gonna go so he's sitting old, down. We're, we're gonna go with the old with the old Yule log. I don't wanna I don't wanna risk it. Yeah, January. Uh, you know what's good for January? Yule log. All right. Introduce it us. Is for us. All right. So welcome to I guess this is more just more of a glass spoiler discussion, right? I mean, we it's might talk ep- about it's an episode, but yeah, it's gonna be yeah, more of a glass mostly discussion. Focused on glass. Yeah, we'll talk about a couple other things. Maybe Golden Glows, John Wick, definitely. But uh welcome to another episode of uh not another movie podcast i'm your boy go the movie guy i got adrian here yo and i got casey here yo and uh kyle is here but he's he is, overseeing us he's overseeing it <laughs> is he overseer he's a producer he today he's, he's a, a producer. producer oh yeah he's over yeah he's overseer there you go yeah overseer there you go perfect <laughs> tied all, all together right. um <laughs> except so yeah you. this is gonna be mostly just a uh a whole glass episode. Yeah. I think we, we really want to talk about glass. But we're gonna talk about the John Wick chapter three trailer at the end and then Spider Man and then I wanna go over at the end what we're gonna watch for next week because there's two things in particular I want to talk about next week that aren't uh oh. theater movies. Oh. Um, Dog's um, right? Yeah, that one. So I mean, let's talk let's talk glass. And we're gonna get spoilers. We're straight. This is fat is- spoilers. At spoilers, but we're gonna give up a uh, really quick, uh, very very short. Just, like, what, what we thought of the movie, review, but just, you know, no spoiler free. Quick review for us. So, um, Casey, start us off. Yeah. I I liked it. There there's there's <laughs> a lot of short it, sweet. <laughs> yeah, I like yeah short sweet. I like it. It's there. It had it does have some issues with it. Some of them are hard to overlook, but it was still, for the most part, was pretty pretty entertaining. Okay, uh, but we'll get more into it. Yeah, we'll do, just do really quick yeah. impression. All right, me? All right, well, I liked it too. I enjoyed a lot of the moments that were good, <laughs> and I didn't enjoy the ones that were bad. Overall, it was a movie... <laughs> I'm glad it wasn't so bad that the articles like that were obviously going to be made didn't get made, which would be glass is a, uh, is ass. So I'm glad that didn't happen. <laughs> I didn't want that. I didn't want that for this movie. I really wanted it to be good. I've been rooting for M. Night Shyamalan to stop being terrible for the <laughs> longest time. And, and after split and even the visit, I was like, all right, here we go he's coming back my boy you know doing low budget movies and not doing big ass like will smith movies and uh last airbender all this stuff um and i was hoping this would be like oh this could be his big one i mean it's still, it's still gonna be low budget it's gonna be his real big comeback um and uh no uh he dropped the ball at the end he still felt like he needed to put like not not just one or two but three twists in the movie which we'll get to but uh, overall, it was a it was it was a good time for the first two acts, and they let me down at the end. But I I can't overlook the good stuff of the movie because there was quite a bit, just right? Mainly McAvoy, but and Jackson. So, you guys have a lot more invested in this movie than I do, like <laughs> infinitely more invested in this movie than I do because I've only just watched Unbreakable for the first time, like huh. I think at the beginning of this year. Right. So right. Um, I I'm I'm not as invested into it. Therefore, I think the issues you guys are probably going to have with the movie, the big issue I think that you guys are going to have with the movie, I think is something that I'm not going to be as as beat up about. Um, and 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 I do acknowledge that I a lot of times make excuses for movies, and I I appreciate the bigger ideas, which is M Night's like that that's his his thing is he has great ideas. It's just there's definitely there's definitely um. And I've heard this complaint a lot, and I agree with it. This is a a, and we can't. I, I don't think it is, but it feels like as this is a first draft movie. This is a movie that he. It feels like he wrote it. He's like, all right, cool. I'm not gonna touch it anymore. I think he might have gotten scared of touching it more, and like he might have gotten too scared of like overdoing it. But I think it needed a touch of because 
I think if if there was a second draft, the first two acts would have suffered more, but it would have fixed third act. But I think I think this might have been his his the best way he could he could have personally have done it. But with that said, I I liked it. It was well, a it's also also with your what you're saying. Now he did I think it was twenty million dollars was the budget, and and yeah. Mike did the whole thing himself. And so, it, you, so it's like you what could, you're saying. I think I think when he was putting since he was putting up so much money, he didn't want to take too many ri- big risks with that and i, I think, I think the that's... opposite i think i think he wanted to do whatever he wanted but he just didn't want to it's not that he didn't want to take a risk i think he just didn't want to like taint because because both are th- these are two consecutively good movies that he didn't want to like yeah he didn't want to ruin the prestige of it which i mean it's, it's kind of i think going forward i think give this movie a year to sizzle on if we're going to come back to it and be like i like it more i think right now for sure it, it people are expecting a lot more and just to that point you can definitely feel this is a 20 million dollar movie I just, oh, this, yeah. this, you could yeah. just feel it the entire yeah. way. Oh, and yeah. with Split, <laughs> you can get away with, you can get away with, with a small budget for Split. Oh, yeah. But with, with this, it's, it's a lot harder to do. And, uh, yeah, this, the, this the, there, there were times where it just, it kind of felt awkward because of the small budget. Yeah. Right. Like and some of the and, fight like, scenes. when they say, oh, God, here comes reinforcements. Yeah. And it's just like two cars and like two six more. guys. I'm like, yeah, that's, that's like two guys who are on patrol nearby. That's not yeah. much for reinforcements. Yeah, right. And when they get like SWAT team members, there's like four of them, and it, it just felt yeah. like uh, like they got shit from like eBay or something. And it's just like they, yeah. they got like SWAT costumes and shields. Like, all right, there you go. We got four guys in suits. That's good enough, right? Get them. Uh, and I don't know. It's just like, but they had the SWAT shields and stuff. I don't know. They, I guess they're more riot. It doesn't matter. But uh, there's times where it just does look cheap, and and it's just times where like the action is just really awkward, like that whole first yeah. fight. So scene between... let let me. I, yeah. I was literally writing that down right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, I think we'll talk about that in a uh, spoiler talk, even though it's not really a spoiler. But right. I do just the last last note before we get into spoilers is I think the movie inadvertently suffers from promising a superhero movie, even though they promised it being grounded. Right. It, these days, it's hard to say you're a superhero movie when you're in Marvel world now. Like, yeah. th- this is this is Marvel's world. Even DC's getting on it now. When you say you're a superhero movie, you are gonna promise action. And this movie, and and not even to say M not, it's not a, a stab against M Night because it's mm-hmm. it just, it, but it's not a specialty. His action is not a specialty. No. And uh, no. on top of a low budget, it you can feel that. So I think that that hinders it too. But uh, let's get into spoilers. Well, I, I think well, just on, on that, I think nor I I normally agree, but they do a lot. Even though they do a lot of uh, comic book comparisons, they don't really they don't really call them superheroes. They more refer to each other as superhuman, and I think that was what they were trying to do to get around it. Yeah, where instead they, of I mean, like oh, said... oh they're all heroes and villains, it's like no, we're all people with an extra with you know superior ability in some way or another. Yeah, and that they, was like the way they were trying to get around it, and it's just the way he went about it. It just didn't connect well. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I mean, they said superhero plenty in the movie, but I get what you. Oh mean. yeah, 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 yeah. Right, but, let's uh, let's go. Uh, let's get spoilers into this because I think we're we're definitely yeah. starting to tread on where we're. Oh, uh, that ending. Hold on. So for, you want to you want to go through? Yeah, I guess. Do you want to tackle the ending, or do you want to go through? All right, let's go through the movie. I guess we go way, but I have a feeling like by the time we get to the ending, we'll be drained out, and I really want to talk about that freaking ending, (laughs) like because it's not just the ending ending; it's like the last twenty minutes. Oh, okay. So let let, let's go. Let's go ahead then. We'll just do a quick glance through and just get straight to the end sure, and after we're sure. done with the end and get the That's fine. I'm, I'm fine either way so let's do that. yeah we could do that all right go through the movie quick and then get to the ending and then go back if we want to talk you about want to do beat else. by beat or kind Not of like beat a, by a great beat. a great okay so uh, like just great. like a quick overview yeah it, it's weird because so the movie yeah, the, all right, it's, let, it's, it's it's here's here's the hard part is that it's called glass yeah you know, and he doesn't show Unbreakable yeah. is 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 done. All right, that's his movie. Yeah, he's, he's unbreakable. He's unbreakable. Split but, is split personality. So that's, yeah, that that, that, that comes. Yeah, so Glass and it, it it ends up working that well. But the problem is, Mr. Glass's is arc is the last third of the movie, and he's carrying that entire title. So I yeah. think the, I think they made it. They, he they could have easily show up until like forty minutes in. Yeah, and when he right. shows up, he's just like. Right, and for, they could have easily the first, like twenty five minutes. He's doing these <laughs> fake ass twitches and do. They could have easily eye twitches and moved stuff. Moved over. Right, they could have easily moved yeah. over. Um, 
some some oh i guess what's the word they could have easily just like quelled expectations by saying by calling it something different because when you call it glass it's like oh we're getting a lot of mr glass in here and he's going to be running the show and he did yeah and their marketing but, was like heavily focused on him yeah right but but at the end it it, it was him at the end but it just didn't it still yeah, didn't yeah. work out and and the and at least with the mastermind situation is it was still coincidence that it worked out for him that's still the, the issue that I, I have with that is when you get into the deeper picture is that yeah he masterminded this entire thing once they got in but it was still on on the chance that they have that this guy will talk to this well, guy yeah, so that, he'll be distracted yeah, yeah that's that's yeah, that, the that's kind of because he knew yeah, there's right. a couple just like like oh i'm so smart i knew even though you know i mean these things don't always happen but i knew because his car breaks not breaks down but backfires sometimes like oh that's gonna make yeah. a loud enough noise for me to do this or whatever like no it's just like i think i think that yeah, he's always late so i know i have at least 11 yeah. minutes until he gets here yeah. I'm just like, see, i think it's... i think that kind of detail would have been better exactly. as like you see it on his desk written out that's right. it or something like that you know i think that was a better not spoken uh exposition because that, that just felt like hey let me tell you my plan so the audience gets it but it's like that yeah. that was something that you could have like glanced at and been like that's pretty cool on second viewing you know they like do that oh. a lot too by the and way yeah. were, there was, they um, just show you like they show uh what's her name uh i forgot her name from the Ellie first Staples? Uh, no, oh, no 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 not Ellie Staples. um the girl from split that survives i forgot her name okay yeah, yeah and which is funny um but uh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, i couldn't remember her name <laughs> but um like when she when she shows up like the third scene she has like the zoo like jacket on i guess she works at the zoo now because she just has a zoo jacket or whatever or maybe well, that's from I, the I black think, movie i, don't I think she, yeah i was gonna say i think she kept that from split yeah but like the camera zooms in on the logo just don't you don't to. notice yeah, like, yeah they yeah, don't need things to. Like that. That, that, it's a it's a cool detail to pat the problem with this is this is a totally a movie that should be filled with a bunch of details like nodding like You'll yeah. get this if you see it. If, if you, you don't, don't exactly. worry about it. But it's when like it's got to take up in the entire. Like, yeah, there, there's some stuff like there. It, I think it is funny because I, I remember this detail that, that stood out to me, and I've heard a few reviews talking about it. Which is, it, it, was, it was so bizarre. It's the smallest detail. It was the line from the trailer. What, oh. what's your name? First name, Mister. Last name, Glass. Five minutes later, they, yeah. they repeat that line, and I'm like, yeah. Why are you repeating the line yeah. again? Well, I don't know why they said that again. That was like, a really, like a fl- really bizarre. Yeah, it was it was so like, strange. Yeah. There's a lot of flashbacks in this, too. By the way, just like randomly, like someone will look off in the distance and have a flashback of the first movie, like Unbreakable. I'm talking about, or right. uh, even like yeah, Split. like that, so many. that one really threw me off at the beginning. Yeah, because it was just With, straight up uh, unbreakable. <laughs> I knew they were gonna put deleted scenes into this movie. That they've said that before. They're gonna have deleted well, scenes from Unbreakable. Well, no, no, but it was, it was okay. stuff like when when David gets home. And he goes oh, in yeah. the kitchen, oh, yeah. and all of a sudden he's having like a vision of his wife, and wife, I'm sitting yeah. there going, "I'm like, oh, okay, she's dead. I don't yeah. remember her dying, but okay." Yeah, well, I guess in between, but I don't know why yeah. they had that because yeah. she wasn't like there was no. I guess it was just supposed to be so we had some connection to him besides the original movie, um, because yeah. something happened, so now we should feel more bad for him because. Bruce Willis ain't even trying. So, uh, which I, I love Bruce Willis, but man, that boy just does not give a shit about his his See, acting I, career anymore. You know, it's, like, it's funny because uh, like, honestly, I think it was more that he just got screwed over. In this. I, yeah, I don't yeah, know. He I, he's right, the he least important. Good. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. To to an extent, but also he's just hero also, man. But but still, you can you can kind of see you can see the contrast of his performances from the deleted scenes in Unbreakable. Oh yeah. Like oh, just yeah. his mannerisms to his child yeah like you know? he was like, like he's, he's telling his, yeah. his son to be quiet at one point i'm like that that's great bruce willis yeah I like that back. see just a very you can see the way he was like that he was very like subtle but he was very strong in his performance but like it, it, there was there were some instances where it's like i'm gonna go for like i thought the, the, the scene was funny with night Shyamalan. like jesus let your dad go for a walk i thought that was kind yeah. of funny that, that like got it yeah got a, but that was so well, bad it, it, no 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 like, yeah, the, the actual saw, thing was it was yeah. dumb i thought that line was funny that's but like yeah. that, but That's no, funny. the lie was funny. But I'm saying the performance, or what I was saying is the performance is, uh, it was hard because it was stiff. Like I'm gonna go for a walk. No, you shouldn't go. For, and I get that that's kind of the thing, but it was like it came off more yeah. stiff than it should have been. Yeah, son. Also, was, I mean, I know it's the same kid that played him in. The yeah, movie. the son. The son just every time he was on screen, he just especially when he's in the office and like trying to give an explanation for 
da- for why David is not guilty and not actually the overseer. Yeah. That whole scene with just him felt the kid felt so awkward. It was supposed to be funny. Did, it's it's yeah, it was supposed to be funny, and I felt like that was like, yeah, like, like, like I can't take it up, but it's just what he's doing, the way he's acting and talking, it just sounds like an idiot. And yeah. I mean like. Oh, he's he does, he's clueless and awkward stuff, but he just sounds genuinely stupid. Yeah, and I also thought like maybe it, there there had to been like a deleted scene there because that whole joke didn't make any there, sense. There's a there's got to be a few. Yeah, because right there, the, she's talking about like how he he like came in and like explained why his dad's not actually yeah. mentally ill or whatever, and that yeah. whole thing felt like like it was supposed to happen. That scene that she's describing, and the funny part is. Her reading it back to him or something, but we know is, is it going to be like a, an Ant Man thing? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's like Michael <laughs> Michael that, would be, that, that would be amazing. Oh no, I this, this movie already ran pretty long, so that that that's probably why they cut that out. But so, and really quick, because I, I do want to point this out. So we're gonna let's talk about the ending. Ending. So um, the final, the final fight scene. So I need something strong for this. <laughs> the final uh, fight scene. I need to get my lip balm out. Watermelon. My lips are chapped. Oh, yeah. Drink it down. Yeah. Right. Now, 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 now shove the whole bar right, in I think I'm ready now. <laughs> Dude, do, that, do the book thing instead, though. Like from John Wick. Just... Oh, yeah. Just <laughs> shove it in your mouth and knock yeah. it so, so it, it has the final, the final, as you mentioned, the fight scenes are not strong, even though this there had a big no focus. Let's be honest. There are no like, fight scenes. I, There's you know, a lot of. Holding yeah, each other. There, is, yeah, there so, is a bear hug. There is a bear hug at the beginning of the movie, and the two of them pushing each other up against the car at the end of the movie. Those are the fight scenes. This one fight scene in the background where Sam Jackson's just like rolling away, and you see that was like, the best fight scene. I love that. Too. I, I actually love that part. It was great. And in the trailer, that was really cool too. You just see like him just like staring at the camera, rolling away while friggin' uh, Kevin's destroying, or I guess the Beast is destroying shit. I was like, that's great. Right. No, so that that's that was my absolute number one criticism of the movie is those shots, like of the POV shots, or like the close up on the faces during the fight scenes. Those did not translate no. into fights well, like whatsoever. Right? They needed to think of something else because that gone, that was... screamed that screamed. We don't know how to film these. These right. people are too well. Not not these people. Bruce Willis is too old for this, right. and we don't know how. We don't know how to like make that apparent that we're trying to make this a cool fight scene. But it was like you guys need to figure something else out because that it, that was, was that did not that. come off well. It was. It's not even the footage or something. It was especially and you know right off the bat when split at the end of the split when you found out that it was all connected. Like everyone immediately got excited for the big fight between them, and then this whole movie is building up to that moment, and then nothing comes of it well, after like an hour and a half of build up. Yeah, that, uh, that so uh, and that, Bruce Willis that, gets drowned in a the, puddle. One of the worst and... things in the whole movie. It's just there's so much build up to nothing whatsoever. But so there's there's the problem with that is that that that's that's personal expectation. So that's not necessarily on. M night. I feel like I feel like that's kind of a thing that the the audience kind of expected, which is a fair as expectation. Because yeah, you see, oh, it's a super villain. This is the hero. They're gonna fight. Because yeah. that's just what we're accustomed to now. That that's, well, it's that's also you see that, that in a Marvel movie. Then, you, we are gonna see that. Right. But, yeah, but, but it's also once they get caught, it's you know the horde is like obsessed with finding out about David, which I was hoping we'd get a whole scene where it's just. Members of the horde taking turns asking David questions, which I was really sad we didn't get there's to see. A lot, like that. There's yeah. a problem. Great. The problem with this movie is there's a lot of of lost potential. This 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 script reeks oh, yeah. potential. Like they, yeah. this could have easily been a part one, part two, and if paced better, I think it could have been really really well. But it, you he couldn't do that because I don't think I don't think he was gonna be able to to put out like he, his his endurance with with scripts is not that strong like. No, he needs yeah. to be like in and out, and then he does he does well. But because like yeah, the longer I mean, it goes, watch watch the happening. That's one of the worst yeah, scripts yeah. ever, and yeah. and it starts off almost competent in the beginning, yeah. where it's just like <laughs> it's creepy because all the people are falling off the roofs and stuff. You're like, what's going on or whatever. And then later on, it's just like, oh, flower, hey flower, don't hurt me. Say hello <laughs> to your mother for me. You know, it's just like it's terrible, it's horrible. Uh, 
but uh, but, here it's just like it's all over the place from the beginning because there's scenes where it's well done, very well written, great acting, and then there's wooden ass acting and bad jokes all scattered. just on a side note, the one thing I did love that they did in the movie was all the, uh, not the, except for the fight sequences were stupid, but during like the interviews when they did the, the uh, POV shots, where it felt like like Sarah Paulson w- was actually talking to yeah. you, right. and like when all yeah, three of them were in every, the room, every and it two to, seconds like, there was a shot on her face. Yeah. Well, it, or it was like when you were when they did the POV of uh Roll of. Of Elijah when he was drugged out, even the camera was crooked, like his head since it was drooping down. Right, yeah, yeah, like yeah. some of those shots were good, but then when they tried to do them, like you said, with the fight scene, it was just yeah. fucking terrible. When it when it's on Bruce Willis, the cameraman's asleep, so just like <laughs> it, it's just, just like his performance. Um, I just I I I didn't I really didn't like Bruce Willis. It really upsets me because I love Unbreakable and I really like his character now. I don't even. Go. And in that one scene where he's just like staring off, he's just like, I'm, I'm just like, he's gonna fall asleep in this? Because even like James McAvoy, and, and it's funny because Jackson at that point is supposed to be like catatonic or he's pretending to be. Yeah. Uh, but he was still doing a better job performing that and giving me more of a performance than freaking Bruce Willis was just like sitting there, there's like falling asleep. I sit there sulking. Yeah. I don't want to say he, he honed it in because I know there was an interview with them talking like, hey, would you be down with it? He's like, hey, if Samuel L. Jackson's down, I'm down. So I kind of want to think that I I don't think he, he's honing it in for the movie. Right. I think he's also I think he's just kind of done with like acting like it. it yeah. His he's acting. Is, yeah, I, it, well, no, it, I it think feels it's, like he's cashing in checks at this point. Well, but, I think it's it's I think he's hitting like the same point uh, Liam Neeson has. Yeah. <laughs> where it's they they want to act but they want to tone it down like they're they like even Lee Neeson said he's like he's too old for action movies and he wants to stick more with like dramas and stuff like that and I think Bruce Willis has hit that point too where it's like I can't I can do character movies but I can't do like action or any of that anymore yeah. But what's sad is that Bruce Willis can't really do that stuff because he's not that great of an actor. He's charismatic, at least he was yeah. back in the 80s and 90s, even in the early oh, 2000s. Yeah. But, like, Unbreakable, he d- gives a great performance. Same thing with Sixth Sense, but, like, we haven't seen that Bruce Willis in a long time. The only time I think we've seen that Bruce Willis recently is like in, like, Looper. That's the only one I can think of where I was yeah. just like, yeah, he's giving a great performance. But uh, even can, that was just like you know. Can I really quick just mention best? how how it's uh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, make her look older, but yeah. uh, but I don't know I don't know why they make Glass look so much older. Yeah, they did. Too. Well, I mean, Sam Jackson's like seventy. <laughs> right, I know. Well, he's but not. They, he doesn't look that look, They can make him look younger. Yeah. Yeah. But, but man, like he was looking younger than his mom right there, and then that that and she was already like old during Unbreakable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So did you see her mostly in flashbacks in Unbreakable though? A lot yeah. of them. In, flashbacks it's the same actress too so i guess yeah. i'm not really wanted to have the same actors he really did because they did that yeah. with the comic shop too right was that the thing was was it was the same comic shop owner is the one I that was wheeling so. out yeah uh, yeah I, i'm pretty sure he was the same pretty one that was sure wheeling out. he wanted to keep everybody the only one they could he couldn't get was robin wright and that's probably why she's dead she played the uh wife of a uh, yeah. yeah, that's probably. why you the only time you see her is like the back of her head and you could tell it's definitely not the same actress, or it's like maybe archival footage or some shit. Um, um, okay, so let's talk about the obvious things that I'm, I'm sure you guys are upset about. Is, are so the should we just skip straight to the first three? Well, I should say the three big twists. Yeah, you want to talk about the deaths or the twists? The, no, I want to talk about the twists because the, the twists, twists are, because they kind of relate. To, you, we can talk about the deaths in it too. Yeah, yeah, because okay. the yeah, especially the second the twist. Part. The twists to actually have a lot to do with that, and that's yeah. a big problem. Yeah, the first twist is the dumbest shit because it was so obvious too when they were talking about like when he was looking up his uh, Wendell Crumb, uh, Kevin Wendell's Crumb's father. Yeah. Uh, they're all looking up, and even Sam Jackson at the same time uh, is looking up information about him. So the son is looking up information. Sam Jackson's looking up information. They both find out something pertinent to the story. Obviously, I'm just like. It has to do with the father. They're gonna they're gonna tie it into the first one somehow. Yeah. And to be fair, it's not that stupid. It's in the same city. The train had almost what two hundred people on it. Um, it's not the, it's not stupid, but it 
it actually it could have been really good if they handled that better. Right. Well, yeah. Because it's obvious. Problem. Because it, it's, because it's basically crazy. if they didn't if they didn't reveal it and then immediately have you know Glass try and bullshit it away. Yeah, yeah. Glass is just like, hey man, I created. Where he's just like, oh yeah, I did this on purpose, and it was all a plan to trick you. If he just like, you know, that was the one thing where he was still trying to like after that was revealed, he still tried to bullshit his way out. Yeah. I was if he's like went into like panic mode and right. just started making stuff up like oh I didn't know he was there like trying to talk his way out that would have been a I, I did I did like the line the line um I created you or no it was you're not supposed to tell him that yet or don't tell him that now <laughs> yeah yeah like, yeah, yeah. I oh, that can't, can't tell him yet he's just yeah his head in his hands yeah I, 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 think I, I also like I, I will say I like in the middle of that rant you hear Glass go and they kept calling me insane but I'm not insane and immediately I thought to myself really because this whole rant he's doing sounds like an insane person he's got black like, up to this point I thought he was super smart but now he just sounds literally like an insane person. Well, it, it doesn't help that he's smiling while he's saying that. Like, I'm not insane. And you see his big ass yeah. ass, and there's like black shit over his teeth. I'm just like, hey, yeah. you look the same, bro. Your hair. It's like he's like he has this. Villain and he's suit talking on. it off like, oh, I knew, I knew that if if I killed your father on the train, that your mother would suddenly become abusive towards you, and you would have you'd split, you make 24 different personalities, including the beast. I'm like, all right, now this is, yeah, this has gone so beyond just bullshit. Yeah, to be fair, I guess that that part was inadvertent. Like he didn't he didn't know that was gonna happen. And when yeah, he found but if that they, out, that's like, what I was thinking. Yeah, but I was hoping they just at least admit it, where it was a coincidence, but it worked out. But instead, yeah. they have Glass try and walk it around where this was all part of his plan when it wasn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, he's the super villain. I guess. I got, just, uh, yeah, like I said, the, the, the coincidental stuff that that kind of discredits him. But that, just, that, that that I think I think the the more the the, the, the thing that people complain about more was that. That that twist was like probably the most apparent M Night twist of all time, and okay. they kind of like they still gave it to you as if it was gonna be this groundbreaking thing. And so, but the thing is, I think that was built more for the the newer audiences that weren't like speculating about this thing for however many years now. Right. I think right, that's right. like, hey, in case you're kind of new, here's a twist, and it's like, all right, cool. I well, that the that thing about that the original is I never I never speculated about the original. The original just felt like its own thing, where it's just like it had that twist at the end. Uh, and it was just like, all right, that's it. That's the story. All right. He's a superhero. He's going to do superhero shit. And then this guy just went crazy and he's the one who created the superhero kind of in a way. And, uh, that's it. I thought that was a perfect story. I didn't know he was going to do like originally Kevin Wendell Crumb was going to be in the original movie. Uh, that's what he said. At least I don't know if that's true. That could be shit. No, no, it was, it was. Yeah. But, um, no, no, I meant like what he said. He him saying that could have been bullshit. Like he could just said that, like, yeah, it was all part of my master plan, <laughs> or whatever. Like, yeah, of course. I don't, I don't, I don't see a reason why he would he would tip that yeah, out because I, again, because here's the thing: is it's an M Night thing to want to cram all that stuff into his script, and the fact that he did it, and the fact that it was a good script, I think that that shows that shows credence to him actually literally holding back. But the other thing that's M Night thing is to make a terrible movie. So, you know, yeah. I. <laughs> <laughs> to be oh. fair, well, it, it, it's it's actually it's not to make two good movies in a row. That's true. He makes okay. a good movie and then he needs at least one or two bad ones in between. Yeah, he made two good movies in the beginning, to be fair. But then after that, after like, that, yeah, he needs... yeah, after that, there was no two good we'll, movies. We'll in get a row. one good movie the, and then like two bad ones and then good and yeah, because the visit was okay. I wouldn't say it was good. And then Split was I thought great. And now we have another okay yeah. one. So at least it's not terrible. <laughs> I'll say that. Yeah. Like, at least so... we're not back. Terrible M Night. Wait, so which, what's the next twist you want to talk about? The next twist. The next, the, uh, we'll go in order. The next twist. The, uh, I know you hate that one, but the, the the second twist was the worst twist he could have possibly done. Oh yeah, no, I hated this one more definitely. <laughs> this one is. The it, one. It, it's not even because because of what the twist is. It's because the way he introduces it into the movie is like it's blatantly supposed to be like. Like oh, this is a callback. This is a callback to the group from Split and Unbreakable. Yeah, but we forgot to mention that this group never is even referenced yeah. in Unbreakable. Right? So, it's here's... world building, except it was like introduced in the last fifteen minutes. Like right yeah. when they showed that tattoo. They showed that guy's really... yeah, the clover. I was I just sat there. I'm like, what? That obviously... What does that have? Dude, yeah. Like, as soon so... as I got home, I went on my phone. I'm like, was that something I missed yeah, all the like... time to watch? You're like. No, that that was bullshit. I'm like, the, why the fuck? You yeah. don't introduce it like, oh, this, this is 
the, here, here, remember this when it's it's fucking shit you came up with. Yeah, yeah. So the problem with that, I think, is obviously that that was and it sucks too because he's usually pretty good about at least like kind of leaving breadcrumbs around with his twist. I feel like, and I'm again, I'm not trying to make excuses for him. I'm just trying to rationale as to maybe what his his thought process was behind it. Is I think maybe he was he was worried that maybe people were gonna look into it and discover the twist too early. Because I feel like he was kind of dancing around, like trying to, like, hey, make her intimidating, but don't overdo it. But, I, and here's, here's like someone, I, I, someone I probably read about was, was kind of rationaling this is, uh, maybe that the fact that the super, the, the, the secret headquarters people were so good at their job that they were not able to be found out is kind of a cool idea. If you want to stretch it out that way, I guess. Okay. I'm not, I, I guess you can kind of see it that way. I think it's all, I think. I think they could have approached that way better. I think yeah. that, that that twist, I'm yeah. fine with the twist idea. Again, this is, this is the thing is I like the concept of the twist. There needs to be like, I hope maybe, maybe if we go back and watch it again, maybe there's something somewhere. Cause I, there, that's there's, so, there's that's nothing. So, there is so, literally nothing. This is just so, something that, he made up for this movie. But, but again, yeah. no, that's so, that, that feels like so unlike him though, right? That's a, that's such a yeah. weird. Even in his bad movies, he usually like There's, there's no something. references yeah. to the Clovers, no references to any secret group like that. No, I'm this curious. Is like there ha- it that, has that, to be that, somewhere. That appearance is the first. It there is. Like, I feel like I know. But I'm, I, well, I'm going to keep an eye out. I know. I know it's not. But I feel like there's definitely nothing like that in Split. I, I know what you're saying. Like, is there maybe something yeah. in this movie though? Yeah. No, you know that's what I'm mean, saying. Right? I know. Yeah, I know. Not I, in the I, original I, movies. No, they ain't. No, they ain't no. shit in Unbreakable. Yeah. 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 No, 100. Nothing in Unbreakable or Split. But in here, there there might have been. That's what I'm but, saying. Is I'm I'm I really be... want to rewatch it and and just look. Oh. But even still, might have been real subtle if it was. Yeah. But I I there's because that, that's really what nothing he does. He, he wants to leave something out. If he doesn't, that has to be a deleted scene or something. Because that's so that's so. It's got to be deleted. That then. that blows my mind. That the 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 one the the one like director that's like known for his twists didn't. Actually, yeah. follow through with what a twist should be. With any but, of the three, what's yeah. easily done is just have it so that you always see that tattoo. Because that the problem, yeah. Because but, but here's the thing: it's, it's you never see it. It's, there's never a moment where I noticed it. Because here's so the problem. So maybe there's a moment, but yeah, go ahead. right, exactly. But here's the thing: is too is the problem, and this, the reason why I can't wrap my head around it is because the twist we just got done talking about was the one that was broadcasted like everywhere and like everyone and their mother knew about this and yeah. then the next twist is no one knew about it whatsoever because it was out of nowhere like there's was, just some, there's some discrepancy yeah. there that I'm like what happened there like there has to be something on the sc- something so I'm gonna I'm gonna rewatch it I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch her wrist the entire time like where's the yeah. fucking thing at like, yeah. Yeah, yeah imagine no, but... wrist, there's no tattoo I'm like come on M. Night come on if they yeah, got like on the other one like one of those temporary tattoos they got uh, like a 25 cent machine or something it's like you know that'd be a good tattoo to put on two people's wrists as a dumbass society of and which is funny. Can, can we also just point out how it looks like that secret society only eats at one restaurant <laughs> and when, once that one person that isn't a part of the society leaves everybody gets quiet they go they go they go yeah I look at the one person there I was just and like, they all what? They, there are you can't just like have a so, con- like a nice convention area or something like you you could say it's a meeting or something you you all just go to that one restaurant it's like it's like one of the members owns it and it's just they get like a fucking tax write off or some shit i expected it to be like some kingsman shit or something like that it was like yeah. they, they, like they oh, like they pull the thing and then like it, it opens up in a giant like super villain superhero killing like society or some shit and there's like a round table and everybody's right. getting together and just like but, talk about the next case they have to do something like that he, he, it's been reports in London there's some shit and, like, here's a here's like the specific dude, that, thing that I, I that I realized why it was bugging me is because I know there were more traces of this stupid twist because that line from the trailer is not there either it's the one with uh David Dunn asking her so you want you you're not gonna shake my hand then Oh yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. there's which a would few have been, which I would have shown the trailer, right? But that would have shown a hesitation among yeah. her. Be like, doesn't want. Uh, to come but there's want also you. that. Not like there's what that is. Scene oh. where I think it's the beast is I think hugging Casey. There's right. that they show that in the trailer, and that wasn't in the movie yeah, at there all. There was um, there was a, uh, and it's really badly edited now that I re looked at it because I, I watched the trailer again earlier today. Is uh, there's the one where yeah. where uh, Ellie Staples tells David. He's locked down, and then he, he turns around and sees that shot from outside where where 
the beast is running across the field. Yeah, but you see the yeah. TV is actually really badly edited there. Yeah, it looks yeah, yeah, really yeah. badly edited if you rewatch it again. Right, but right. um, one thing I want to say, remember yeah. the, the first trailer where she, she says her name, like, my name is Ellie Staples. She doesn't say what her name is throughout the entire movie. She never says once, my name is Ellie Staples. Because that, that line is not in the yeah. movie where she says my name. Because she just really? starts talking to those guys. They never say her name. I think they huh. might probably show, like, a paper that says her name or some shit. But I don't think they yeah. – she never introduces herself as Ellie Staples. I could be wrong, but I was looking for that. I was like, are, is she going to say her name? Like, And then when they got to the scene in the trailer where she's talking to all three of them, I was like, all right, here we go. She's going to say her name. Yeah. And, I was like, and she didn't say, like, my name is Ellie I, Staples. I think – Maybe she maybe she does, doesn't if I see it again. No, I was gonna but. say I think she does not that line, but like when explaining what she does, I think she does with Don, like right at not when they confront him after the fight, but when they're at the psychiatric facility and like she's bringing him into the room. I think okay. that's when she's explaining it. And that's like, so like she mentioned, I don't even know if she mentions her whole name. She just goes. She might just say Doctor Elliot. Yeah, yeah Doctor whatever her name is, Stable yeah. Elliot Stable. Whatever, fuck. but um, I just I don't, I don't I don't get that. Like, if she's a major character, and I don't like that scene when she says her name and stuff. I don't know. I felt pertinent, especially since that, like in the first trailer, that's literally the first thing you see in the first trailer. So it's like, all right, yeah. we're, gonna, we're gonna get the character, and she. I don't think she does say her name to any of them. Yeah. Like, and dude, with with her, her. I, I feel like I could have because yeah. I don't know why I know her name so well because I I knew it. I, the first trailer, no, no, but. I know, but I, I I didn't watch the trailer for like since the beginning of the year, and I just it just still stuck in my head even through the movie. Um, mm. But I, I I don't know, maybe it could have. I, another I don't know. thing with that that I did like they never really explained why or, or how what would happen was she keeps going. Oh, I have three days to fix you. Right? Yeah, I don't. I don't but know. it was like okay, it's like yeah, or, or what? What happens if you do fix him? What happens if you don't? How well, do you explain it? It's like yeah. okay, so if you fix if you fix Kevin in three days, all of a sudden, all right, he's forgiven for all the murders. You're a free man. I'm like, what? How is this? No, so that that part. It's, well, no, it that, that part. It, yeah. yeah. Well, the, that part. So the whole point. Twist, yes, but yeah, but logical the twist. Yeah. No, I I get it. It's because the point is they're trying to to take that idea out of their head, even if they don't get the, they're not going to release them, but they yeah. want to get the idea out of their head because so the whole point of the movie. Them, I guess. What? So they don't have to kill them at the end. Because if they don't think they're superheroes, then there's no need yeah, to work. Yeah, they won't use their powers right. and stuff. Yeah, they right. can just, go, you know, just let them go as normal members of society. And, and not, even, the, not even let them go, just, though. Yeah, at the end, they do believe they're superheroes and supervillains. So, uh, yeah, sorry, well, drowned right. in a puddle. <laughs> right, because so, no, the point is they, they just don't want them to think that because that way it doesn't bring out the unbalance of, oh, hey, it's like, it's like that. It's the common thing where it's like, it, it's it's literally J. Joe and Jameson in Spider Man. If we didn't have Spider Man, there'd be no more supervillains. Yeah, right. Like right. That, that, that's yeah. all they're trying to stop is it's that. The hey, J. If, we, society. if we if we stop them from doing all this stuff, then there won't be any any of this, and we're good. Which I I get that. I thought Which I that thought that sense. idea is same thing with Batman. That's the same thing with Batman. A lot of a lot of comics, uh, movies, and comics itself cover that though, especially with Batman, yeah. where Batman creates the Joker and all these other villains right. because he's just around yeah. you know so they already do that except i guess there's not a I like, yeah i like i said i like the, the clever idea that heroes, exactly i, I like right. the i like the clever idea of the flip side of like hey yeah. we should stop this before it even becomes a thing and here's the thing and this this is why i enjoy the movie is i do like the line that kind of at least threw it out there to understand is that is uh when uh mr glass is dying um his mom's above him and said i thought this was the big one right you said it was a show oh yeah this is the climax the show uh the yeah, show he's like no yeah. this is the origin origin when, and here's and here's so i pulled it up uh while you guys were talking um there was a reddit comment that i want to read here that i thought was actually pretty good um i don't i don't i'm not gonna read the name because it's literally just a bunch of numbers so sorry dude but uh you can find <laughs> it on the top it's two three four two three something so whatever um Here's the best way I can rationalize it in order to not completely hate it. So that, that's a pretty good line right away. <laughs> it's uh, one of Glass's final lines about how this isn't a climax showdown. It's actually an origin story. This isn't the main character dying in a pathetic way. This is the main character's dad being shot in a dirty alleyway. Glass, Horde, and Overseer are the martyrs that inspire and drive an upcoming world of heroes and villains. This is the origin of supers and new heroes seeing the, cl the Clover Society drown 
one of their own in a puddle and will put them on a guard and position them in a way that they're a shady group. That's a Shyamalan twist. He does a full superhero arc, but it didn't end like one because it's actually the opening incident before the story really begins. Normally, three movies aren't devoted to the small part of the story. The microscope view of things is what made the story different. And I think that's kind of that, that that's that's yeah. what I felt going into it was, hey, this isn't this isn't the grand like, oh, this is a huge thing that's going on. This is a giant thing. This is literally like this is the very, very beginning. You got the very beginning and and what oh, yeah. to, to the credit it to the credit is 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 we were talking about that that super, that Superman line. He didn't have a cape. Uh Superman didn't fly at the beginning. Was that what they said too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Superman didn't fly, didn't fly, didn't fly fly didn't have a cape. Yeah. yeah. So that's what I'm thinking is that the beginning heroes they're kind of lame. They're they're pretty lame. Like even sure. even though David Dunn is is unbreakable, he's he's still pretty lame. Like he's yeah, hanging out like kind of he's kind of, he's kind of a build, he's a vigilante. He he's super he's not he's not incredibly he's strong, but he's yeah. not like he's pretty not strong. Superman or Marvel because like he's still having to like knock at his door a couple times to do it. All like, he can't like just he, you know it, it's still like these heroes are still the very beginning of their adolescence of hey they're like a step above superhuman or a human sure. so they yeah, got yeah. they got the beginning of their power so they're not going to be that's what they're saying is superman couldn't fly at the beginning david dunn's not this superhuman power got fucking no beams coming out of everything you know it's it's he's he's super he's strong but that that's just the the basic necessity of what it is right now and that's the way i took it so i kind of yeah, get yeah. that and, and sure and, i get and, that yeah. too his, and I, his, I get that part. I like that, but I did not like yeah. the whole secret society. I like that part though. You're right. Yeah, I, I thought I was thinking that too. I was thinking that too, especially with the shot of the 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 son and the uh, and what's her name, Casey again, uh, Casey, and then the the mother <laughs> and the I mother. Thought, I know. thought that I thought that's that whole that, that whole thing. They're holding hands and then they're shit. looking around. That was lame as shit. I yeah, that was. Like, so stupid. It was so lame, but I got that there. I got it was like, oh, I understand yeah, the concept. Yeah, no, again. I understand. That's why what I was saying. But but, but it's still, like it's dude, still dumb as hell. But, it was because the because yeah. But M Night so, does not know how the the internet works. Can, just can I? Like, yeah, that, that's the mutual. That, that's because the, that's the okay. thing. You're like, oh, that was one thing. Because they're like, oh, it's a revolution. I'm like, in this day and age, couldn't they just bullshit that as CG in like, like five minutes? And even if they yeah, the right? society, the society wouldn't even have to do shit because everyone would go online and immediately call bullshit on uh, it. So <laughs> the, the, the one the one little caveat is that people were were kind of believing in it already. There were all those news stories about the overseas, overseas. Their, okay. their comments about it. So that's Oh fine. yeah, but if you put any thought into it whatsoever, you realize no one's going to believe that. Yeah. Everyone's going to write it off. It's completely bullshit. Uh, and, 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 and she's thinking like, and also just with that, where it's like, she mentions that the group's been around for 10,000 years. Yeah. And then a few seconds of video, you know, it's like five, six clips, but a few seconds of video gets out. And all of a sudden, oh, we're fucked. The, the, we got superhumans everywhere now. Our society's falling apart. I'm like, could you just do one press release where it just said, you know, one of the one of the guys got into the computer and made fake shit? I'm like, you yeah. do that, you solve the whole thing, and it's all bullshit. There were a lot of cameras. But, there were that's what I could say. There were a lot of cameras, and the news news grabbed onto it, which is something that that they wouldn't grab onto if it's a ho hoax. Um, can, yeah, the new, so, new. <laughs> I thought I thought it was a cool. So I, I was. Yeah. Uh, and let me see if you guys enjoyed this because I thought it was kind of cool. Is that uh, so kind of funny? Did the the spoiler cast of it, and then one of the guys like, you know, what would have been a really cool ending is that when you know when they saw when they were passing around the video and you saw people looking at their phone. What if like it it, it, it cut? <laughs> They're watching Fortnite videos. <laughs> 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 it, 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 is what what if it cut to different characters in the M Night universe that were all looking at their phones and they saw that that news report. What, like Mark Wahlberg from Happening? Yeah, yeah. Like just, just go full on hokey with it and just, just give them all. I would have just lost it. Yeah, like it, just at least because you know what? You know what? That would have saved a lot of people being like, man, fuck that last third. That would have saved a lot of people being like, since from Science is looking at his phone, he's just like, oh Jesus. Wait, that looks like that looks like this guy. <laughs> it's the same guy. Yeah, Bruce Willis from Sixth Sense in the other dimensions looking at his phone. He's like, oh man, that's cool. Uh, that looks like me. <laughs> what, I, what I was hoping how that that twist was going to work. It wasn't just going to be oh we're forwarding it to everyone. I was hoping that it was already forwarded. They yeah. like when they got to the station they had already forwarded it like a week or days ago at least. Mm -hmm. And like what we're going to see there is just basically a giant meeting of them with like 
other people with special abilities. Yeah, something like that. I right? thought that's what I, it was going to build up to. And I was like, when it started spreading, it was only a couple of people you saw reacting. I was hoping, like, okay, maybe this is just people with special abilities that are seeing this video and realizing they're not alone. And then what's everyone? I'm like, oh, okay, they just did a fucking they, scam email to everyone. That's, they they uh, have, like, that could be more cliche for this. Right. They have this, the smallest hints of, like, David Dunn's kid. He he has that that part where he looks at the the guy lifting the weights and he just yeah. looks at him. like that's kind of a small hint that he has that. Um, Casey well. in there, Casey in there has has they kind of hinted at her like being able to like. I I, I want to like the way they they make it feel is like that she can like, lash onto someone's emotions you know, like they kind of have that little. I don't think they have any. I don't think they what, have any. Aside, I think yeah, I think you're right with the son. The son, not that he was he was like, oh, I got, I'm strong too. I think what he was just looking at that is because he was just like he was just remembering his father. That was the whole yeah, thing about Unbreakable. Cause, you go lift weights because each of them had like a moment, but, like at the end where they were like, kind of re- getting some relief, but also some closure. Like uh, Glass's mom when she got the email. Or daughter and Casey when she's watching the video, but we didn't get that with the son. But that's but the, in that moment he was watching the video, and that was like his closure with the moment. Right, right, right. Because right. her, she didn't have it was not like she had some emotional ability. It was just she had the connection with Kevin because the beast nearly killed her, and then realized that she, how much she suffered, and then it was like, all right, now we have the connection. Yeah, they're they're both they're both suffered because Kevin's mom beat him and Iron. I, I do want to say that. Uh, I, I read this comment on Reddit as well. As I, I think it's pretty hilarious that Casey was uh, just the sun's getting real low in this movie. Right? Yeah. <laughs> that, that was so link. Her character was really cool in Split, where she's like mysterious. You like don't know her backstory. She's kind of she's kind of hardened a little bit in that. It was just like she knows yeah. what the deal is. And I'm like, what the hell's going on? And then you find out what happened. And you're like, oh shit. Um, yeah. Here and she's just like this, most of the time it's, she's just looking around, like. <laughs> like yeah, and then it also with this, I'm like in the last one, like near the end, it's like they had, you know, the two of them finally, even after everything, her and Kevin started to connect, and even some of the hordes started to connect with her, even the beast did. And then and in this, I'm like, okay, like especially like with his death, which honestly, I I loved his death because it felt like each one, obviously not all of them, but like all nine personalities from the from Split. Each got their own. Uh, he just killed ending. it in general. Yeah, he killed yeah. it. Yeah. Well, no, I know he did, but like that, yeah. that part was like my favorite part of the whole it movie was, for him because sure. it felt like Hedgewick and each one of them, the like the nine main ones, had had their own send offs, which was great. Yeah, but, like right for that, I'm like, uh, I'm like, all right, are, is this is she trying to help him because you have a connection, or are, are they in love with each other now? Because this is. This is getting thought, a little too personal for it just to be. We have a connection, but I thought that's to what they're leading to. Just have a connection. So that's what okay. it, that's what it felt like. It felt like they were leading some romance shit, which I'm yeah. glad they didn't really do that because right. it, it would have been really weird. Because she's still in high school, I believe, and he's like supposed to be in his well, mid thirties. I, I, I it's think so I really think weird. And he has twenty four fucking it's also personalities. Like, yeah, they, yeah, they go full like go full and Stockholm person. syndrome with it. It's like no, nah, this this is taking a weird oh, twist. That, that so doesn't it? Luckily, I. I Here's the thing with yeah he with, died before they could go through with it yeah now uh, well here's the thing with with those is is could he die? it's really refreshing to see a male female friendship you know sure and, sure and, and yeah. the, the problem the problem I have with it is they definitely it felt a little romantic because uh, especially because of Hedwig you know and his in his uh his because he uh, like Hedwig felt a lot for her. and but but I will say that that line was was hilarious it was uh. When she was holding Kevin's hand, and then Hedwig yeah. comes up, and he's like, "Do you love Kevin? <laughs> you love yeah. Kevin? Hey, Hedwig yeah, is usually the best character in any of these movies. Uh, just him a- as a character himself is great. I just I love his character. Uh, and it's weird saying that because it's just James McAvoy, but uh, and he's he's yeah. playing that in multiple characters. But you know what? It's weird because in my theater, I hate I hated my theater by the way. But there was a couple moments where I was like, oh, I like these people uh, in my theater." Uh, there was one part where people were feeling bad for Hedwig. I was just like, and they were talking about yeah. like his own person. I was like, they, James McAvoy is doing such a good job. People don't realize it's just God, James dude. McAvoy. There were some, there were <laughs> yeah. some of his personalities that came out here that I'm like, oh fuck, just make one more movie, and I just want to hear you. Well, just what, what, it's one of the, it's, it's a small detail, 
but it's one of the th- it's honestly one of the small details that I love most in like any movie I've seen where if you look in Kevin's room they don't they only show it a couple of times but most of the time it's in the background but he has the shelf of all of his toiletries right and it, on that shelf uh, are yeah. 24 different toothbrushes yeah, and I was yeah, just like yeah. that I love the fact that he they you know M Knight went as far as to give each personality their own toothbrush and oh, like yeah. Make it clear each personality is its, their own personality. Yeah, 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 and they have like right. their own rooms too and shit. Yeah, it, it was cool. It, it was the split was a cool movie, man. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's too bad about this. <laughs> you know what? To, to be fair, every scene where he had to keep flipping through personality, he did so light, good, dude. So good because every Wait, time we got you, bro. Who got will, you, will, bro? God, that, I love that one, I dude. That, with the exception of when they're escaping. Because when they were escaping, it felt like, okay, here's the personality. Yeah, just go back to the beast. All right. Yeah, every time he went to I'm going to come out now. Yeah, uh, time to go back to the beast. I'm like, that... you should have just stayed as the beast. Stop flipping into uh, back and forth between them. It, just go back, was, back to the beast. It was, just, it was just too much of switching back to the beast where he has to, like, he goes, takes off his hat, takes off his yeah. shirt. <laughs> you know, like he hopes yeah, up. He get, yeah, but like from that point on, he should have just stayed the beast. It's like it goes outside and up. Dennis is back, putting him back in. Up here comes people. We need the beast again. Ugh, all right, and I'm just like just and from that point. It kind of it kind of conveyed it kind of conveyed a cool. Right, go ahead, go ahead. You're good. No, I was gonna say weird that they also made Dennis less unlikable because in the first one they insinuate that he was also like a. a a sex pervert or something like he was like oh they, they straight up i think they straight up said that yeah in this because, one. because oh, in this one yeah but they also made him a little bit more sympathetic here he's just like i don't want to do yeah. i never wanted to do this stuff man i didn't want to kill people yeah you just wanted to molest kids i was just like all yeah. right cool i don't care about you dennis i'm glad you're dead which wow. which uh, honestly dennis it's is one of my favorite personalities too. of his Right. Because of Dennis, he's like easily next to Hedwig, like probably the most likable personality. And like you, you hear Dennis, it's like, oh, okay. I don't, what, oh, yeah. what the mean, problem like, is here? I, I love him. What, what, I don't see any problems with him. But then he starts talking about kids. It's like, oh, I'm starting oh. to see a problem. <laughs> One of my favorite comments I read was, uh, Man, James McAvoy has it because he was because he, he was uh, switching, and then there's that one point where he just stands Patricia, you know, when he's all dressed up and yeah, he didn't yeah. say anything yet, and he's like, "Yeah, all I could hear on the other side of my theater was someone whispered, Patricia." <laughs> <laughs> right? You like, can tell man, exactly what it's gonna be. God, dude, by, I, <laughs> I love that so much, dude. He he just did so well, but it, man, the the Spanish lady. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I didn't even know. I, I, I want to. I want to see a full list of names of everyone that's on there because they gave they gave him a list of that, but I don't think it, it wasn't the full, it wasn't full, full one. List. No, no, no. I uh, want to see someone. Well, no, I think I think, well, in, I know I know in Split they only showed nine personalities. They showed those nine. I know in the, I know in this he they showed all of them. They in, they did say he yeah, showed all of them, but I think most of them were that that scene where he first got put in the room. Yeah. yeah. I, well, I want I want more of the uh... in the interview recently he said that there's a lot of personalities that don't even have names they just they're, they're just like single like the internet will give them names yeah I'm sure but like in the script he said like M and I didn't give them names they're just like like sentences you know it's just like now you speak with a Spanish accent they don't have a, it doesn't have really like a how name. did you do bro we almost got you bro God I suck it that one was, yeah. that one gets me every time because he just yeah. does it too well. <laughs> <laughs> the beast almost got you, man. It's good. I wish yeah. we got more. <laughs> I did. I did like when. I did like when uh, Hedwig was always trying to do the the run. He would always try to run it at at Elliot Staples and to get light, and then he just switched. He goes. Uh, then he walks back. <laughs> and it does again. Well, yeah. I I do love. I also love at the beginning, where uh, <laughs> when Hedwig's like, oh, the beast is coming any minute. I gotta take the roller skates off because if he if he comes if he shows up and I'm wearing roller skates he's gonna be very angry with me and I don't want him to be angry with me. Whatever. Patricia Patricia already yells at me and I don't want anyone else hating me. Yeah, it's so good. I would I honestly would I kill the scene as a deleted scene where or just like an alternate scene with uh, David and the Beast fighting in the factory but the well, Beast is the fucking roller skates off. <laughs> <laughs> he's on the, he's on the roof though roller skating it turns into like a fucking scene of out of like uh 
out of like what was that movie roller derby or uh like oh Great. what was that there was something express that future what was that future or movie express. no <laughs> Oh, no, 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 what was it? Uh, Starlight Express. All right, yeah, 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 there you go. Like, just some crazy shit like that. <laughs> right, right, right. Well, I think the last thing I, I want to talk about is, um, <clears throat> for, a, for a while, too, is I think, and I think they did the best job as they could have, is I think when uh, it was the doctor kind of going in and, like, trying to explain away, hey, this could, you're just, you're, this isn't true, like, this is just you believing it, is I think she actually did a pretty decent job, because, like, I, I think, it, it, and for what they could have worked with, because the problem is, is I think with the hard part is that with with twenty years of Unbreakable and and everyone like, nah, this dude's this dude's a superhero. You're not gonna convince everyone to be like, oh, he's not. But I, if the movie had come out like six years ago and then split like two years ago, or whatever, it would have been an easier track. So I guess for me yeah. specifically, it's like, oh, I guess you can explain. I, I knew it wasn't true, but I was like, of course, I, I guess you can explain some of the stuff away, right? Like maybe that kind was, of... maybe that was. And I get that it, it, it's hokey, but it's like I, I think it is a good job that they could have to explain to them. And I did like the kind of like it's... I did like the idea that that even that just all you had to say was, hey, the beast isn't real, and that just threw all the personalities in a loop. Like they were like, oh shit, is he really not? Like it's, it's just really just all well, that, my head. that's the thing. It, it, there was with that. Like I know there was Patricia and Matt. Yeah. Which also I thought that was also kind of a bullshit part. She's like he's not strong. I put a wrench between the bars and I was able to bend them. And I'm sitting there. I'm like, yeah, yeah common physics. It's like, yeah, it's that. Yeah, anyone could do it, no matter how weak they are, if you know physics works. So that yeah. that whole, whole reason was bullshit. But it was. What what and it might have I have to I'm gonna watch it again because maybe it's just me, or and like I'm I'm hope I'm hoping I'm wishing too much into it, but when David is like trying to break out of his room and you see him basically give up as he's like turning and going towards the bed like right after he makes the dent in the door, right? It's right, like right. as he's walking you see him rubbing his right arm, right. So it's all those things where it's like you think maybe maybe it is possible that if she convinces them. They'll, that they'll start. She, but they might lose, not lose their abilities. It, they'll still be there, but they won't be able to fully yeah. utilize them. Sure. Yeah. Because yeah. up I to that it. point, it's like he doesn't feel pain or any much pain or anything like that. Him no, walking he's back, never been sick his, before in his life. Yeah. Him never walking never back, rubbing bone. his arm. It's like clearly, clearly it's sore or something. Yeah. Maybe that was just Bruce Willis. He was just so yeah. asleep, he forgot he was supposed to be unbreakable. <laughs> and, then, and then M. Knight told him, hey, man, you're not supposed to rub your shoulder. And he yeah. just gave him a I've got, fucking death stare. Like, uh, I got an itch on my arm. And, yeah, he was just itching his arm. <laughs> itching his ass. Um, I just, yeah, no, I, I get I, I get that. But, uh, I well, f- first of all, let's go back. And uh, we didn't really talk about the twist. I mean, we did the last twist. We, we mentioned it, but we didn't really, like, say exactly what it was. Right. The twist it, at the I, end. I, I would have I loved it if it was handled better. The final twist, which we kind of talked about, but we didn't really explain it exactly, yeah. where we find out that it, like, uh, he did a Rorschach, where uh, it was, uh, he had the footage of all of them doing slightly yeah. hu- uh, superhuman things, like building, bending a bar and getting a car. Escape was recorded and sent to yeah. a ghost drive. Yeah, it was sent to all of the. Well, I guess it was sent to the mom, and the mom probably sent. Yeah, it, it to, was sent to the mom, and it was up to her to forward it yeah, to everyone. Yeah, I imagine she just couldn't open the file and she just deleted it. She's like, yeah, that, that, no, that was the first time I saw. <laughs> that was the first thought I had when I saw that happen. I was just sitting there watching them. Like, hit her iMac. With whatever age you want her to be, do you really think she's gonna know how to like forward this attachment to like everyone and shit? I, I'd be amazed if she even knew how to fucking open her computer at that. Age. I'm like I'm just like no this here's a, here's a ghost computer. server forward this to these people I'm, she's probably sitting there like what the fuck does forward mean and that's another convenience thing because it's just like how, how did he know she had a computer still yeah. she might have heard of it like a garage sale I guess she had it though well she and could well, she could she could have been talking to him because she did visit him well no but she he was supposed to be catatonic yeah so, he was supposed to be and he and she well, and he gave her those signs that you know he was faking guess, it. I guess it could. She could have said like, "My email is this." Uh, uh, so I, I assume she yeah. talks to him still. Yeah, yeah, but, but yeah. he's supposed to be catatonic, so when that yeah, that was the thing. She came and talked, but he, he built that whole catatonic. Yeah, no, I know. It's, if it's, he talked to her, then the whole thing would have been blown. 
Because this whole catatonic thing was just to kind of not build trust, but build like yeah. some sort of unawareness of himself, so he can like be sneaky when he has to be. Um, yeah. which, which he's just waiting. I guess he's either giving up or he's waiting until a superhero of some sort shows up. Which they don't really explain exactly what he's doing. I guess he it, probably. Just, it, to me, it looked up. like it was more of he was just biding his time, waiting for. Yeah, he figured if I wait here at some point, he knew about David. So he figured at yeah, some point, David's, David's going to get caught and showed up, showing up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's smart. He probably figured that. Um, but uh, yeah, I, 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 I do love really that. Jack is so. Yeah. But I, I do like how, as to whether or not he Glass was supposed to die, who knows? Uh, you know, I can't really be sure. Right. But I do love how his whole plan was. And Adrian kind of the comment you read kind of touched on this, but his whole plan was wasn't just to get it recorded and get it out there, but his plan was to make Kevin and David martyrs. Yeah, in a way, basically show the whole world so this. Yeah, no, that yeah, that was like the comment, but that was just one thing I loved. And like I said, with Glass, who knows whether his he actually planned to die or not? Obviously, he was <laughs> willing to. Yeah, but you don't care. I, even I they even I, said to his mom, like, was I a mistake? He was like, no, baby, you special, or whatever she said. I don't remember. Yeah. But, I, I don't know. That that might have been the magic plan going off a little bit because, like I said, with that line of don't tell him yet, as I think that might have been a little thrown off, but that's fine. I think well, I have the yeah, I th- Well, his, his plan, I think he, the pl- his plan was actually to go to the tower. Yeah. Uh, but that, that was, uh, I no, think I think that all. was the original plan, but this was, this was be, uh, like a backup. I, I think they can't no. get it there because if, I, they, if that happened there, it's live and nothing, you know, it's guaranteed to get out there. People are going to see it instantly. And this was sort of a backup where if we can't get there or if something happens, right. those two aren't going to fight outside. And we'll, this footage will still be able to get out the, there. I, I don't the think it reason, was, go, ahead. go ahead. Go ahead. You're good. No, I was just going to say, I don't think, I don't think it really was a backup. I think it was supposed to be them going to the tower but also fighting in front of the thing so they could record yeah. all that. And then maybe martyring them at the tower so everybody could see it, so more people could see it. Yeah. But um, the way he smiled after when they first started fighting, though, and he just stopped he right there. Is like still got recorded. You know what I mean? Like, I, so that's I, why. I, I guess. I, I, I just took it as that he was never even thinking of the tower. That was a backup, like, hey, this is kind of what you're doing, but, but I was then not that's really bad. That's also bad storytelling because we we just yeah. we watch him look at the towers like meaningfully. Why would he look at me? Yeah. No, if I, he was I, just, think, I think he that, knew he knew that all eyes were being recording. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's I why I, the reason you see him smile there when they're fighting is because he's recording and he knows. Okay, no matter what happens, even if we don't get to the tower, that go the ghost server is recording all this. So no matter what, this stuff is getting out. Right. I so suppose. it's like even if I I die here or they die here, it will be for something. That that's why I think he, he's I he's smiling. Yeah, that makes sense. Everybody will see the superhero guy drown in a puddle. Uh, they'll see this guy yeah. get shot once, and then they'll see me fall two feet and die. <laughs> so there you go. Superheroes. He bent the bar though. So you know. Well, while, while, so, while someone was getting eaten. Well, I mean, I can eat for someone. Yeah. I mean, you know, I'm a superhero. All or right. Superhero. So I think I think we're good on. Uh, well, last one, I want to mention one last thing. Uh, I do like the credits. I really like that where they did yeah. unbreakable split, and then they say like oh. the character's names, like it says Patricia at one point and stuff like that. Yeah. I like yeah, and it shows like, like cut cut like shows sex parts of the scenes from the movies. I, I, I like that. I wasn't paying attention, but I heard people say that the music that was playing during the credits was actual ass. It was actual, like it was like, like they, they, they didn't like they hated it. Like, no, I, 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 I did not like, like it. it was I, yeah, that's, that's, I was I wasn't focusing on the music. Yeah, uh, I was like, but I'm gonna go back and listen to it because I heard people say that that music. Everybody was started talking at my theater, like, and they weren't talking about the movie too. They were just being annoying pricks. But I, uh, just just a, just a side note, there there one quick story about the movie that I think you'll, you'll both fucking love is the theater I I went to the. IMAX theater I go to is that's the only one that doesn't have the reclining chairs, but you can like lean back. So I always try to get that front row so I can put my feet up. Right. So a couple of rows down, there was a guy like walked into the theater with a camcorder out. Like everyone's automatically going, all right, he's going to try and just film this shit. And he sits down, you know, out in the open. So I noticed it. And like another seven or eight of us, uh, seven, eight people in my row noticed Right. So at very like every ten to fifteen minutes, 
one of us would end up just get go like have to go up and just walk across in front of him. Right. Okay. <laughs> and just every like ten to fifty minutes, one of us would do that. And you could just see like every once in a while I glance over, he was getting more and more pissed. And then as the credits tit, he just stands up and just like curses at all of us and just storms out. Wow. And right after that, the uh, usher, like, you know, that was right as the ushers were coming in. So I left, uh, you know, I left the theater, went to the bathroom. And as I'm walking out, he's standing there with a, uh, with a costume of a manager. And I'm asking to why he's banned from that theater for life <laughs> and why they're notifying all the theaters in the area. Wow. As he's taking this picture, I was just laughing so fucking hard. So I'm like, was Glass worth it? Was this movie really worth all this? <laughs> Go right ahead, man. Especially the last That's 20 minutes. For the last 20 minutes, trilogy, worth yeah. it. Yeah. Um, well, right. he was a super villain. He got stopped, so that's good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> if someone came in with a hoodie on, like slammed him against the wall, and then and then like broke fair. his boat. He walked in with he walked in with a giant trench coat on. So I'm sitting there, I'm like, he's all right, you're gonna try to record this movie, or I'm gonna get fucking shot in five minutes. I, uh, <laughs> you I know what? Would have completed his overseer cosplay if he fell asleep halfway through the movie, just like Bruce Willis. Did. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm surprised no one, no one thought I was gonna film the movie because uh, I went straight from class. So I, my class ends at six thirty, and the right. the show starts at seven. And then for me to get out of class, get to the bus shuttle to to the parking lot, then get in my car and drive like fifteen twenty minutes to the theater in there, I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna make it. But it was the first week of classes, so I was able to get down there in time. Right. But I um. I just got there from class, so I didn't want to leave my backpack in the car with all my. With, I had both my laptops on me at the time, oh. so I walk into the theater with my MacBook and my Surface, and I'm like, I'm just like, <laughs> I, they're gonna. Why are you bring you both? Your, yeah. <laughs> Try to bring both your laptops in here for. Two laptops. You know what's weird? I think theaters are more worried that you'll uh, bring drinks in than computer and uh, computers and recording devices. I've, I've, I've not had anyone give a shit if you bring anything in this, these days. Yeah. I, I, well, I, I know Chris hasn't. Cause I think since, what was it, five years now I've been going to the movies with you, and I yeah. don't think once you've ever been stopped. No, of course not. <laughs> they don't care. But uh, there are theaters. No, that probably... Because every, every time we go to movies, Chris is like, all right, I'm ready to go. He's like, yeah, hold on. Then I just stand there in the doorway waiting for while it goes to the kitchen, fills up his bottle of soda, and breaks it. Yeah. With them. Bring them, man, I ain't buying no $8 soda. <laughs> My soda is <laughs> just I, <as> good. <laughs> I, I buy them when. Uh... I buy me an AMC when I'm doing the triple feature because at that point it's three refills. This times where I do. Buy them. Yeah, if same, I, if same. I, like, I did that because I uh, I did that when I went to see Glass. So I saw Glass, but before that I saw uh, Brawley. So I was there for like five hours. Yeah, that's how I'm gonna be on. I usually I buy the the gourmet popcorn and, and the drink combo, and oh, it's all it's three hey. refills. Yeah. Dude, it's, well, it's the salted uh, caramel and the spicy cheddar popcorn. Yeah. Oh, dude. Oh, the the one I, the one I whenever I have like a lot of those. This was an exception because I wanted to see gla like I saw the timing and stuff and Levittown wasn't, but like the theater by you would be by me. Well, Matt actually. Oh, that one. Uh, that Levittown theater. It's like the only dine-in. AMC in the state, yeah. So it's like going for there for a triple feature is amazing because they have a bar there. They have like real food, right? And like right, I said, okay. like no, everyone's like, oh, they have burgers okay. in front. Like no, they have like sushi. Like it's a fucking restaurant there. It's awesome. Yeah, well, because I went to the uh, there's a brew house here, and uh, I only go to the theater like on special occasions. Usually, if I have a free ticket or if it's like. Yeah. I think when Movie Pass, Movie Pass allowed that to be the I could reserve seats on Movie Pass back in then. Uh, that yeah. was the one thing that allowed that. Because yeah, e even because even I know just like a normal movie for like Alamo Draft House and that is just super expensive. It, it's it's the tickets are expensive, but the food is so like. And I make yeah. a special occasion if I'm gonna go. So I had a free ticket because of my birthday, and they give me like a, a full month to use it. So either like the last day I was able to I was like fuck I'm gonna go see Spider Verse again and Spider Verse is still yeah I saw, I saw you year. post on Snapchat yeah so I put I just grabbed I got a beer and I got some like nice like like a big platter like cheese fries like all right let's do this and uh, that, that 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 cost twenty bucks <laughs> just, just that, and I was like that's expensive but see uh, this kids movie with some beer yeah I'm gonna go see Kung Fu Panda four uh, I, like I do that like I it's the movie that I'm like. 
Uh, oh, like there. <laughs> yeah. That's <laughs> right, How to train dragon three. When when fucking Captain America's crying, dude. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Take a yeah, shot. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go. I'm tempted. Salt if I want to, if I'm gonna see it uh, first in IMAX, I'm gonna see Endgame at the theater I always go to. If not, I'm gonna go to Levittown, so I could just get a beer and like just as I go through the movie. Just take a sip every time something bad happens. Just like downing beer after beer. Yeah. That motherfucker did. <laughs> oh, that sucked. Spider-Man ain't coming back. Right. He'll never All come right. back. Not in the next couple months. Definitely not. Right. Segway. Yeah, segway. Yeah, so let's just, segway. Uh, talk about John Wick, right? That's yeah, let's, let's just go with the other trailers we're talking about. So we need to talk about that. I, I will say, I, I was a bit upset that they, we didn't get that before Glass. You know what? It it really, I got, I got the Spider-Man person in my audience was that during those shows like oh is there please is there john wick john wick and it didn't get it and i was like oh God i dude it. oh i just can't fucking wait till the first day i see that poster in real life man oh that poster that poster oh, oh, that is the awesome. fucking masterpiece I, i'm gonna buy that poster I, I feel like we said this too we were talking about like yo the next poster should be like the same poster as the last we talked poster. about we talked about john wick like oh dude there's guys playing around she was gonna make the whole world but it's gonna be the the, the, the earth with a gun <laughs> <laughs> It might be it was like freaking at least at least uh, like a hundred people there. That's how I made it. A lot that that's that's terrible positioning because half of them are gonna get friendly fired. But oh, uh, have you seen that? Someone uh, I I've been seeing it going around. Someone saw that poster and immediately started uh, putting out red lines as to where they're shooting. Where all of them are aiming. Shooting in front of them, yeah. yeah, and like half of them are either shooting the people in front of them or like missing completely. Like oh, like two thirds of them aren't even hitting him. Yeah, that makes sense though, because like if you can't get a good aim at him, you might as well kill the motherfucker that might kill John Wick. <laughs> no, no, it's like if, you can't, if you can't, if you can't get a good aim at him, kill the motherfucker that's blocking your aim. <laughs> then shoot John Wick. <laughs> <laughs> I have no allegiance to these faceless goons in front of me. So can, can we just say with with the whole trailer, like a, a lot of it, the, uh, the whole thing is great, but arguably the best. Part is when he's when uh, what's his name is walking down the continental, right, just right. walking through the lobby, and right. like everyone in New York versus John Wick. I'd say that's about even. I was about just like, God damn it! It's, I'd say, I was like, uh, God damn it! That is so, that's I, such a fucking I, great I line. Think, well, yeah, people on uh, I people on Reddit were like, that needs to be the tagline for John Wick Chapter Three. Yeah. It's yeah. about even. It's about even. You know what? You know what's funny about the John Wick movies? They they feel like they. Yeah. Were the most uh they'd be the most self-indulgent things ever if they were made by like a lesser person Anyone you know what else, I mean? like yeah. a lesser. Yeah, like it, it'd be so self-indulgent <laughs> just like i mean not that not that keanu reeves is directing it but it just feels like like a low budget movie where like this guy's so badass nobody can kill him okay no oh, yeah because john wick himself super here's guy it. comes out from here, here's the problem out. here's the thing with the john wick franchise john Nothing. wick is a character that no one should give a shit about because it's just it's just it's just a guy. But here's the thing: is he they fucking were smart and yeah. they made this guy sympathize. Like, oh, this yeah. guy lost his puppy and he's pissed. And that and what, single-handedly alone well, is carrying this here's, series. Here's the thing <laughs> that I think it benefits. <laughs> yeah. Well, what was that? I think what benefits most is you know the director being I, I guess former because he doesn't do it much, but being a former stunt person. Is he's dealt with all the action stuff, and he's one of the ones that's realized, like what a lot of people have realized, where a good action movie doesn't need these big, complicated characters, these big, convoluted stories. A good action movie, people want entertaining action sequences and just everything simple and straightforward. Yeah, DC. And just something entertaining, and that that's the thing like i've noticed with john wick one and john wick two is they're all extremely simple they're easy to follow nothing over complicated there's no scenes where like the exposition is just for the hell of it like honestly the first movie the one of the best scenes is the boogeyman scene right right, right. Just, it's like, one of those scenes where it's like it's, expo it's, it's all exposition but it's delivered in such a way that it's still badass yeah that, that actually and was just, great that, that's yeah. that's what i think is the strongest yeah. part of the whole series. It's just everything has been kept simple, and that's made everything just more more effective and more entertaining. I, I think there's a style to John Wick, and uh, oh yeah, I, do, I do think that the 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 newest one is definitely kind of going back to the first one. The yeah, second one, I, I the felt second like, one I felt like it's going grungy. back to the 
it, it feels like it's going back to the first one, but it also has its own style and some shots like like that one shot with uh with him and uh, Holly Berry in there just felt very uh what did it feel like? I, I remember thinking like it, it it felt different, definitely, just like the way it looked um visually but there was other shots of course like when he's fighting those guys and he throws the gun and he he, get, he almost gets his ball stabbed and he's just like what the and he just throws that I, I, like, I, I, I want that i want that book i look john wick i think the, the big book feeling is, it feels yeah. similar but i think this is the first time where it, it the the real driving point is the last two movies again the last two movies have taken place in the span of a week yeah, and this one is too. It seems like yeah, they had a rough right there, week. But yeah. the, la- yeah, get, yeah, get the last rough. two movies, yeah. it's been oh, all John's been all attack, and yeah. like this movie, like that's the big change for this one is now from now he he's still fighting, but now he's on the defense. Yeah, like the which like, I, in I the, think that's, the beginning that's gonna be like well, that's what I got with like the the with like that what you're saying, Halle Berry. That's the feeling I got with that scene where. It's not. He's not going in to take out these people. Cause he's got to take them out. It felt more like the, a preemptive strike almost. I, I just want a bunch of aliens to fight John Wick next. Oh yeah. yeah. Like where? Where oh, do you go? John Wick versus like like I don't know like Doom guy. That's what I want. I want like uh, the most you heard badass. What uh? What uh? What's the director's name? David something. David, it's like uh, David Lich. I think. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but, David uh, Dunn. <laughs> him and Keanu, Keanu, Keanu he was asleep behind the like camera. Ago, they were doing an interview, and they said, both of them said, as long as the studio at, wants us to, we'll keep doing these movies. Oh, I'm sure that is. They said, it, like, it, we planned it to be three, but they, it's not, they didn't even, like, go as far as to say, we'll be good doing more movies. He basically said, I'm, pr- me and Keanu are perfectly happy doing these movies for the rest of our careers. Oh, uh, John, John, yeah. Keanu Reeves loves being John Wick. You could tell yeah, that man. Yeah. That man's enjoying it. Yeah, yeah, you could tell he's enjoying it by him grumbling and looking like he's falling asleep too. Yeah, so like that, I, I don't. Yeah, but no, no, he, he's great. But let's, let's you not see, yeah, himself. but you see it. Keanu Reeves is not a good actor. No, but you yeah. see the training. Yeah, yeah, that. That's what I'm. That's what I'm saying is that he wouldn't give a shit that much. It's, it's, technically, that is acting too. He has a. He has to train and make himself look like a badass even though in real life he, he isn't uh, all right bruce um, maybe he is now all that training he'd probably beat yeah. the shit out of all three of us but um which I, i'd be okay with keanu just seems like a really cool guy but um i want him to be my dad this this fit this, is, this fits his role though like because i he can't really can't act but john Wick doesn't need acting he just needs no, to be a he just needs to, he, the kick ass yeah. but there's times where he emotes but you know what and even in the original john Wick, there's a well, couple the, times the only the only thing the only thing Keanu's good at acting emotionally is anger. Anything else, it's a bit detached. Yeah, when he's like, but he's really good with anger. And thank God for John Wick. That's really the only. It's either indignation or anger. Those are the only two emotions he really needs to show. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> All right, M Night Shyamalan, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> he's just like. <laughs> Staring at me right now. I don't he's know why I am at the camera for what an hour now. Is he down here? Or is he down yeah, here? I think, I think, I think he's no, down. He's, da- he's down. Uh, <laughs> on, 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 the left, on the bottom right. He's been staring at me since we started. <laughs> um, <laughs> Basically, he's been reacting to me chugging a beer in like ten seconds for like an hour. He likes it, but uh, I don't want. I don't want to drag too long because we, we're going long now. John, but, uh, Chapter Three, Parable. I'm fucking. I'm fucking hyped, dude. I don't know. Also, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad they brought back the, the, Chapter Three because they. I feel like it, it wasn't Chapter no, Three. It was first, always right? called Chapter Three. It's just gonna have that stupid ass. But did, did they say it was Chapter Three initially? I thought they said yeah, ja- they, John Wick was chapter, John Wick. No, no, they just, they, all they said is they just said it was gonna be. Uh, the if they didn't say it was like oh it's just par uh, parabellum or parabellum or whatever whichever pronunciation they're going with. It's both a bullet and yeah. I think it's Latin or some fucking whatever language that means just like war is approaching, which I like that. If that's yeah. what, really, which I, I can't. But wait for no, they, they said it's like that. That's the type. Like the title is going to be that, but they never said the official title is John Wick, uh, Parabellum or Parabellum. I don't know. Par, 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 well, that, it, it's confusing because it's there's a few different languages that have that word. So like you said, there's Latin, English. There's a couple of Greek. 
so you know it's yeah. different pronunciation farsi uh, <laughs> jamaican but considering they're not gonna Korean. use it in a trailer who knows what the fucking word is yeah maybe john wick will just say it and tell us why it's called that in chapter although three. although i, sure. I, I well, am super excited four. to see to see that for the first time ever a sword uh, a sword fight on motorcycles. Hell yeah, I can't that wait. Look, that looks like it's gonna be fucking ridiculous. <laughs> well, he's also you know, like I the want best the horse, way. dude. I want the fucking horse. Well, the, the horse is no, great no, too. The horse looks like it's gonna be farther to in. But just seeing <laughs> you know seven guys in a sword fight while riding motorcycles is just like uh, you, you, if you <laughs> went to a into like a meeting and pitched that idea, everyone would tell you to get the fuck out. Except for this movie. Except for this movie. They've earned Except it. For they this fucking movie. earned it. And you know what? Because, it makes sense. Because they go because the director says that. Any other director, it's like that's stupid. This director says that and they go, Oh, he's a stunt man. If everyone knows what the hell he's doing, when it's this? him. It just makes sense that this is the escalation. This is where it's well, gone. Well, what if at the end of fights on motorcycles? What if at the end of this movie he's fighting <laughs> and just like the pose where he's surrounded, then all of a sudden half of them just turn to dust. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> and he's and he's like his dog turns to dust, and, and he goes, up. He's like, I'm getting you. Sick. No, and he goes, who killed off half my prey? <laughs> oh, but, you know, even better. They what, I, I think I think you both would use it. But one of my favorite <laughs> favorite memes I've been seeing going around that it popped up when the trailer came out is uh. Doctor Strange with Thanos, he's like, you, yeah. if you want this time stone, you just have to get it out of this dog. And he just rips the dog in half. It's like, I got the stone. That wasn't too hard. And then it's just a, a picture of John Wick. Just like, has anyone seen my dog? And then it's a picture of Thanos terrified while uh, Tony Stark and Doctor Strange are high-fiving with a giant <laughs> grin on their faces. John Wick would kill Thanos. Yeah, 100%, dude. Definitely. With a pencil. <laughs> no, no, pen. No, I, I don't give a shit. Give him the give him the book. I want that book. Oh, the book right in his big ass head. Oh, uh, that, that that's gonna be such a that, that that was the thing. I'm like, I wonder what. How do we top a pencil? Yeah. The book. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. With a pencil is on a book. God, I want to know what. Just kill someone with a bunch of paper cuts next. And John Wick is one of those movies that I just want to be in the in the uh, writers room for the same way Deadpool. Where yeah. I just want to know what they're like brainstorming and like. All right, what do we do now? What? I uh, we're getting we're getting paid to think of the most yeah. the you know the I have the same, skills. Yeah, I have the same thing for the Mortal Kombat games. Like I just want to be in that boardroom. Uh, oh, oh, for the like, fatalities. Just, just rip off a face and then rip his other with their own no, blood. No. <laughs> I was, no, I was gonna say so Adrian fun. would love to be there just so he could high five and hug the guy that uh, while they were in the meeting for uh, eleven, just sat there and said, "Why don't we make Scorpion dab while in a fire tornado?" Oh, no, I saw that. Uh, yeah, I'm using that one. <laughs> yeah, I saw it, too. I, I said that while I was watching the live stream. So I, I even like, seen it. It has during, that during the live stream one. You just dab? <laughs> it like, well, yeah, it's, no, the, it's, it's, the, it's the official gameplay trailer during the live stream, mm -hmm. but you can watch it on its own. But, yeah, like, it got a decent crowd reaction as soon as they saw him dab. Gore, <laughs> you're going to see that a lot. Uh, no, I won't. I ain't playing All the game. Right. <laughs> All right, Spy Spider Man trailer, and then we're we're gonna wrap up with what we're gonna watch next week. We're, we're gonna wrap it up with a monologue from Kyle. He's gonna monologue. Uh, he's gonna actually a one act play right here in just voice though, because I don't think he has his webcam out. <laughs> so Kyle, if you're here, you're gonna have hey, to producer. Producer, are you around? Hey, are you overseer? Are you here? Are you sleep just like Bruce Willis was? Uh, he's probably watching a movie. I think he said he was gonna watch something. <laughs> Well, yeah. who's gonna end the recording? <laughs> 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 All right. Well, I guess we'll figure that out. Three weeks Some... later, uh, I need to go <laughs> to the bathroom. All right. Uh, so Spider-Man. All right. Um, I'm pissed. I just don't like any of this marketing. Like it, it, the marketing, the fact that this is getting marketed upsets me. And I know I'm one of those people because I'm. Uh, you didn't think Spider-Man was gonna come back after after Infinity War? You're dumb. It's not that. It's just that there's the marketing behind Endgame is so unique for what's gonna be one of the biggest movies of all time. The fact they are just fucking throwing it in your face, you know? Right. We got one of the most low-key trailers. We got like we didn't even get the goddamn name until this late, you know? Like right. everything about Endgame is just getting like it. You can tell it's like they're putting a lot of love into that because they're like, hey, we know Infinity War was like. A punch to the face, you know. We know, and and yeah, you had Ant Man afterwards, 
and you know that was also a punch in the face afterwards too you know it's like we really want this movie to be like it's it looks it looks like and then the trailer too it wasn't a fun trailer at all it was a trailer that was like damn we're and getting fucked up but and you know yeah you know yeah, yeah. Sure. <laughs> but hey you guys that, is dead hey open the door. hey is that is that ant man is that you remember me? Yeah, we met we met in Belgium. Yeah, oh. remember? Hi. Oh, yeah. Well, and, there's and, a theory about all this that I don't give a shit about. It's not gonna happen. It's gonna be straightforward, just like every fucking Marvel movie. I feel like there's always some crazy theory about everything. Oh, someone that, that makes the coolest theory and then it's like, no, it's not that. It's that, that, that like, you know what that reminds me of? That reminds me of the Mass Effect 3 ending. It was remember it was, was it like, like angry indoctrination. Well, yeah, like, the indoctrination theory. And now I was like, dude, that's fucking hype. Do you do that? And then Byron was like, no, nah, we'll make you a regular uh, thing. We're like, nah, everybody hates yeah. this, man. Hey, we got yeah, everyone, everyone like, yeah, the indoctrination theory. They're like, yeah, dude, because that indoctrination theory was fucking dope, dude. I, yeah. I didn't go back and rewatch it. That was, that was a great theory. Yeah, if but, that was um, a theory, yes, but it wasn't. It wasn't but, true, obviously. So, it wasn't. It, there I was a say, theory. I, I, there was a, compl- a big complaint I've had with like all the, and it's not the marketing. And I know it's unavoidable because with the industry, if you want, if they want to turn over decent profit and stuff, they have to do it. My biggest problem with everything after Endgame is just all the sequels they're announcing right, before yeah, yeah. that. Because it's just like, right, all right well, that, we're, that... Start, we're starting, we got another Spider-Man, we're working on Black Panther, working on Doctor Strange, and just like all that announcing, it's like, right. I mean, I, I, I figured they were going to come back. It but like hard. you know, before before Infinity War airs, uh, mm-hmm. Infinity War came out. Yeah, you already know those guys are going to come back no matter what happens. That takes a lot away. I mean, th- seeing them disappear, what like still left an impression, but it's it's hard to like leave as big of an impression as you see that happen and immediately think, wow, I wonder how he's coming back. Yeah, it's so just going. I wonder and, and if again, he's coming back. It's not like yeah. any of us thought they were gone. Like we know they're coming no, back. No, like one hundred and fifty percent. We all know. I know. I know. I know. That, that's what I'm saying. Is it, that we know they're coming back. But the yeah. problem is that the mood. Like even even so, fuck. Of course, Spider Man is coming back. But they yeah. took away Spider Man. Like it's fucking crazy. <laughs> they, <laughs> they took, took him Black away. Black Panther. We like, just got it, him. Yeah. Like, <laughs> but the fact they killed off Black Panther. Like even that was like yeah, a that'd whoa, be a lot of money. Yeah. But like, like that—that's crazy. But I, it's obvious. Like, yeah, okay, I get that we ne- we need to keep stuff in motion. But the fact they even skipped San Diego Comic Con afterwards. Yeah. That's that's yeah. crazy because that that's huge. Um, and that was like perfect like open season for DC to do anything, which they they did all right with it because they they put out the Aqu- the Aquaman and the Shazam. Yeah. But um, yeah. so Aquaman. so um, I it just sucks because you know there was a dispute with Sony and, and Disney on this because they were going to show the Far From Home trailer earlier. But yeah, obviously, said, obviously, Disney is like, no, you're not doing that. Yeah. Come on, why not? Don't do yeah, that. man. Come on, blow us. I, I, I imagine it was probably because, and, and I think, which I thought was weird that we got a full two minute long trailer that looks like a real trailer, but it was, you know, still they still call it a teaser trailer. I don't get the pro- I don't the top I like, Captain regular. Marvel made sense. No, no, that, that's, that's what like, I'm about to say. I think, yeah. I think. We might get maybe one more trailer before Endgame comes out. Yeah, probably like around March. Because I think I Captain. think that's the thing is they're waiting until Endgame comes out because there's some you know there's going to be some important plot points for uh, for Far From Home that involve the events of Endgame and they don't want to spoil it. Like that's I also think a reason the trailer got pushed back was because you know uh, the Russos. Or the marketing team watched the trailer and realized, oh, we have to cut this and this out because if we this these two things might spoil Endgame. Right. So I think I think that's why they refer to it as a trailer. Is normally on its own, it's definitely a trailer. But if you continue think of it as part of the MCU continuity, a full a full actual trailer for it might spoil. So like, that's it, why it, I think it's a teaser. Right. It right, has right. to be. It has to be a prequel, right? Not prequel. No, yeah. no they already no, said they, it they, happens Russos, minutes after, though, or something. Yeah, the Ru- the Russos have Weird. already said that everything in Far From Home takes place after the events of Endgame. But uh, that's but, but, no, no, but I'm saying is that I ha- It has to be like something in Endgame is gonna reset. To, yeah, it's gonna reset. But, so it's it's gonna reset. Make right, reset. So right, right before Infinity War. Because Which is still spoiler, the, pro- right? the, the problem with 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 Far From Home is that everyone's kind of happy go lucky and. 
And yeah. y'all y'all died. <laughs> I wish it was just a prequel. Why can't like Ant Man did the same fucking thing? Why can't this be before Endgame? And they already uh, confirmed that it's not uh, and that's the problem because shit gets oh, reversed. I see what and, you're saying. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, want it you want it to like it, it might be up because the... of what happens, it might be that not like most people forget, but like the Avengers, anyone involved in it might still remember and still references it and stuff, so yeah, maybe too. But there's even a part. There's a couple parts in the trailer. One, he shows his a uh, um, passport, and it doesn't. They hide yeah. his. Uh, he they hide the year or whatever. Or they, they hide yeah. something. Um, and people were like, "Oh, maybe it's actually a prequel," and they were lying to us. Uh, and there's also a part where someone mentions Iron Man to Spider Man, and he doesn't like look remorseful when he says that. So the people are saying, "Okay, maybe Iron Man didn't die at the end of Endgame," because a lot of people are. Like that's like number one. Him and Captain America are the two people that think that uh, are like on the hit list for Endgame. I don't. Um, I don't think. I still don't think Captain America dies. I. I think they just I send him back. Cap's Cap gotta die. No, Cap I. I don't. I don't. Hard one. No, 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 no. But I. I don't think they. I don't think he dies. I think they send him back to his time. That or like. I think they get rid of him doing that because no, no, that, uh, that gives I, him the good. That gives him the happy ending. And that's that they remember. Cool. Remember in the trailer, he was looking at his locket. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's looking well, at it's life. not just that. I think it's not even that. I think for like plot point wise, I think they send him back so he, he either doesn't crash the plane or he destroys the tesseract. Oh yeah. Be yeah. Because yeah. the tesseract, because him getting frozen and the tesseract being found is what basically kicks off all the events. True, so if he is able to something. avoid crashing that and do something about the tesseract that prevents all the infinity Gaunt, that prevents everything. That, I mean, the only, the only that, difference. But it, 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 when I say everything, I mean like, you know, Bucky doesn't become Winter Soldier. Tony, his pa Tony's parents doesn't die. He never becomes Iron Man. And that's another thing I noticed with, I, obvious. And I, I mean, I love seeing John Favreau is still around, and they're still using him, especially as Spider Man. But he walks in with the check, and the check isn't Tony. If, if you look, it's signed by Pepper Potts. Right, so right. it might be like basically, you know, Tony does, never becomes Iron Man, and Pepper runs whatever Stark Industries is now. Chris, and, were you saying you were trying to say something? Uh, I don't remember now. <laughs> I I think I think that that's the graceful way of doing it, and they can yeah. always bring him back later on with that with that option. And I think I think that explains all it just explains is it's a whole new timeline because we're going through this weird thing with timelines now. I think that would be so dumb though. They, they, they wouldn't do that because that means every movie doesn't count anymore like i mean i'm sure there's gonna be a no, no 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 i no 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 it means it means they all count but this it's technically this is an alternate universe now they they said they said the back to his own timeline i get that but the reason why people love these movies is because it's a continuing thing and if they no no kind of, yeah they reset I know. It i understand in a way. exactly what you're saying yeah, yeah yeah but if they reset people are not gonna i don't think people are gonna like that you know, I don't. I don't think people are gonna be like, "Oh, okay, now it's just everything's a little bit different." You know, Iron Man's not Iron Man. Yeah, Spider Man's still Spider Man for some reason. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. They never Same explain why. Spider Man, though. Yeah. Hey, they never explain why he was Spider Man. To be fair, in the, these movies, like what? I guess it's just the common it origin is story. Situated that it's yeah. it's the same yeah. story, but uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, right. It, it doesn't. Yeah. It doesn't well, tell you Because yeah, but it, it, honestly, like it, it would make sense. He wouldn't be affected because him getting powers had nothing to do with Avengers or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I, I basically, guess. as long as long as Osborne Industries or whatever, as long as some industry in New York City is working with mutant spiders, and his his uncle dies, he's getting the powers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I just, I, I, I think it like the vision wouldn't exist because they wouldn't have anything to like, they wouldn't give a shit about the gems anymore because one of them's gone. So who gives a fuck? Right. Um, yeah. they destroyed a Tesseract after one gone. Um, and like who else wouldn't exist? like Scarlet Witch probably wouldn't be, uh, a big no, I, I get, no, I, I see. I'm not saying that. They, I'm not saying that. that. I don't know. I'm just saying that cap's always been a fish out of water and it, it it feels such a jab to cap that he's stuck in a timeline that he just never really wanted to be part of but now he has friends yeah, yeah. but he's still he's still it, just it, not it, in his time though. Though. remember in it's, civil war iron man said he was his friend even though they're it, definitely still, not seeing each other it's <laughs> it's still just not his time i think i think i personally wouldn't mind if they're like all right you, as we're going back and you see cap like if, if like if you went back you see cap kind of like really happy and just kind of like well, okay, they, being well, time, they're like, you know what, what you stay here. What, 
What it's going to be is basically Scott Lang takes him into the quantum realm and they use that to send him back in time. Yeah, they could do that. That's the yeah. fuck shit of the... Anyway, but, it says Spider-Man. But what, no, good trailer. Uh, Jake uh, all. Yeah, fuck that trailer. Um, I just want to say one other thing. There was a theory yeah. about Captain America. I heard that. I, I hope is true. I, I think I know what one you're talking about. I don't remember exactly what they said because I read this months ago. But it, it was pretty much... Remember that scene in Avengers Age of Ultron where you see him vision, envision, well, he gets a vision from Scarlet vision Witch. Vision vision? He gets a vision of vision. Yeah. <laughs> He's beautiful. But no, like, he, he gets Scarlet Witch's vision where he sees, uh, what's her name? Penny, uh, uh, Peggy. Peggy. Peggy and everybody in, like, a ballroom or something. Right. Uh, I, I heard a theory where, like, there might be, like, something where, like, when he dies, he gets put in, like, a, the soul gem or some shit. Like, that's still a thing. No, or I don't like that. Or, no, no, but that's... at the end, at the post credits, you see him back there. Uh, and that's I, I don't... the right. the connection. Well, I don't think it was the soul gem. I can't remember what they said. But, but, but it's... at the end, the post credit scene is him in that ballroom with Peggy. Maybe I, I switch back I, to well, that. Well, the, the thing is, the thing is, I, I understand what you're saying, but that's someone who's trying to connect the movies with the comics because right. in the comics when this, when basically he did this in the comics no one actually died they just got the soul gem basically has its own pocket universe in it never got sent in there yeah. so it sounds like that theory is someone's trying to connect the comic book event with the movie event right but the well, the thing is, I, is that i, I don't mind do that with the gamora stuff where gamora's in that soul and soul gem or whatever soul gem world and she's talking to thanos at the end it was like yo what was it, it was worth it and he's like yeah i, I don't mind whatever. i don't mind that it, it's also hard to, to do that without adam warlock because he, he's like a big part of all that yeah well, I, I don't bring him the soul gem no, yeah no, i don't mind them doing that i i just don't want them putting him in a soul song. I, I like the idea of like if he passes on that's the last thing he thinks of is, is him being in a ballroom, yeah, and that's fine. I don't, I don't give a, sh I don't want him trapped in some fucking soul stone or something. I that, that's it. Like he dies in a civil war. He doesn't he just get shot <laughs> in civil war or something <laughs> like that in the comic? Oh. I thought he just gets shot. Ow! And he dies. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. The comic, it, it's like <laughs> the, it's like, it's basically like, uh, like the movie. He nearly kills Tony Stark and realizes, oh god, I'm fucked up and stops. <laughs> All um, right, let, let's let's go back to Spider Man really quick. Talk about. Uh, Talk about Mysterio, Jonah. and we're done. Yeah, you, Mysterio. You mean how they're going with uh, the the Incredibles one plot line? <laughs> I like I like I, that. If they, if they do that, I'm gonna be so fucking pissed because that's a waste of like using the elementals. I like I like the uh, Chris's uh, reaction where he was like, "Oh, he looks like he's from Thor," and the very end of flash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I look like. Thor and Iron Man had a baby. <laughs> but I, I hope I hope I'm wrong, but it looks like they're going with Mysterio. They're going with the whole syndrome right, plot right. line, of The Incredibles, <laughs> where it's, he's just he's using you know whatever technology and mass hypnosis to make himself look like the hero, but he's actually the villain. Right, 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 right. And that, I, that's what I'm saying. I'm hoping to God that's not it, because if it is, the el the elementals are such. Especially for like Marvel, the MCU, there's such a great group of villains to use. Yeah. That if it turns out they're just, oh, it's actually just, you know, holograms and hypnosis, it's just oh, such, it'd be such a waste and such a disappointment. I mean, it might happen because I mean, this is. I know it might. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. It really looks like that's the route they're going, and that's why I'm really hoping I'm wrong. And. And, uh, I mean, you have to remember, this is the same company that... I mean, they did Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. I mean, it was the animated side, so it was a little different. But remember, it's still the same company that did Venom, where Venom's, like, this dumbass. So, like, he's a loser on his planet, and they, they make it into yeah. a joke and shit. And remember, it's still MCU, where the MCU even messed with some of their villains with, the, uh, with of course, uh, the Mandarin, where he's just like, oh, I'm drunk. Oh, I'm high all the time. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's like I wouldn't have a problem if they were doing that and use either made up new villains or use different ones. It's just the elementals are like they're basically all, they're all together. They're basically gods. And it's just, yeah. you know, willing it down to just Haha, parlor tricks. It's just it's just it would be such a waste. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, they don't. He, need... he looks great. <laughs> he, yeah, with his fishbowl yeah. on it <laughs> while he's fighting the giant, whatever. Yeah, he does look. He, he looks good. I mean, it's Jake he, 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 honestly, which I I think I imagine they might have been going for, for it. But considering it's in Italy and all that, but he really does the way they made the suit. He looks almost like a Roman soldier. 
right? With his like little like he looks like Thor. He has that kind of look yeah. too, which is like the metal shit. I don't even remember what. Yeah. Thor, has Thor hasn't worn. Has Thor worn that no. suit since? No, or? not since. Uh, not since he uh the events of Ragnarok. Oh, did he wear it in Ragnarok? I don't remember. I just remember. Oh my god. He, he was wearing it at the beginning, but once oh, he, he, once yeah, yeah. That's after true, yeah. his hammer got destroyed, then. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then he just wore like the one part. He only had one part of the cape up or whatever. Yeah. Oh, After... No, wait, no, no. Once he got uh in Infinity War, once he got Stormbreaker back, he got yeah, hot. Yeah, yeah, he got hot. It was a bit different, but yeah. it, it was a bit different. It didn't have like the chainmail and all that, but it was still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, it 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 looks similar, but I like the fishbowl. I'm glad they put that back. You know, that's the one thing I will say about like stuff like Aquaman. Like I like when they take something that kind of looks goofy and just keep it as goofy. Like what Black Manta, Black Manta looks kind of goofy and he looks goofy in the movie, but I was like, you know, I, I like, I like it though. I, I, I it looks, just decided I love, I love uh, the ocean master mask. <laughs> yeah. The, it's like, it master. looks like some like, well, uh, I know it looks stupid, but it's like, it, it's one of the first times in God knows how master. long that we've seen the, them put a mask, like a, the villain or hero's mask yeah. in a movie that's identical to the actual comic books. So they yeah, didn't yeah. have to sure. change it up for some bullshit reason. Yeah, like the mask itself. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. But, uh, all, right, all right, well, I mean, it's good. Uh, Jake, so. Jake, Jake Killen Hool, he's, he's coming out. I, I think that's actually how you pronounce his name. He said his name is like, you're supposed to pronounce it like Hillen Hool or something like that. And I'm like, no, fuck you, you're yeah. chilling all. <laughs> Ralph Fiennes. Ray Fiennes. So, so, so for <laughs> next week, we're gonna watch. We're gonna talk about Bandersnatch. Okay. I what I want to watch. Right. I want to watch uh, Fire, that Netflix documentary. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That that's on the list. Yeah, I really want uh, to because uh, the whole stupid that ass story. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've heard and it's great. What, what? Yeah, I know. I heard good stuff. And then what comes out in uh, this next week? Um, next week is I think. Something. Well, I'm... well, the, the the big thing is uh, as of yesterday, Punisher is out. Yeah, Punisher's out. So, but uh, oh, uh, the kid who would be king. Of course, we're gonna see that, right? Oh fuck! <laughs> I've heard fuck. it's good. <laughs> oh, I train your dragon. God, how? Why, Patrick Stewart? I know, I know. That's, well, I, I, I jumped it way too far. Yeah, I guess we won't be talking about anything next week. <laughs> Nothing comes out unless we want to talk about uh serenity not the movie not the yeah. firefly well, we'll we'll figure it out but uh well no no it's january so do uh do uh i guess a year like i guess what's the way i could word it <laughs> yeah exactly. uh we'll do one where it's like what the stuff we're looking forward to maybe yeah ma yeah, yeah we could do that i i, I think i I, I didn't want to say that. About end game, yeah, but, stuff we're looking forward to, stuff we hope we get, stuff, so you know, games and we're movies gonna move, and all that. Yeah. We're going to move postings to Monday. So there's going to be an exception, but uh, going forward, not this week, but the following week, our episodes are going to be posted Monday. I think we can talk about box offices from that stuff on now. Yeah, yeah. So we, can, yeah. We, can, we can record Sundays and, and talk about it. And yeah, it up yeah well, now they've hit the point where most of the uh, numbers they're giving out on Saturday, on Sundays, yeah. like real early. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Uh, the estimates they have on some of this. Yeah, I think that's it. You have anything to say, Kyle? Yeah, Kyle, drop, drop a witty little. Yeah. Oh, he. Uh, he oh my God, he's alive. Wait, all right, say something really like just really deep right now. Glass, more like Smash Brothers Ultimate.